everyone! So the other day I was looking on Wish, which is a really bad idea for me. I shouldn't be left alone on the internet with pet products. And I found a whole host of really strange pet products. Benji is so enthusiastic for this video. So I thought I would order some and try some so that you don't have to. <laughs> So even one of these products I specifically said in my previous wish haul that I would never buy. There's also a lot of products that I really wouldn't buy and yet here we are. So I have ordered a load more than what I'm going to show you today but wish products do tend to take a long time to get here so these are just the products that have arrived first. So if you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and then I'll know to make another video when the rest of the products arrive. Excuse Benji, he's been out all day and he is a little bit grubby, but I have left him that way so we can test our first product. This, and it is the Portable Dog Cat Paw Cleaner Pet Paw Washer Dirty Cat Foot Cleaning Brush Cup for Outdoor Travel. Catchy, I know. <laughs> there are no instructions in English on the box, but luckily on the app they do have some instructions. So it is actually really cute. I ordered it in blue. I think it's available in pink and blue. It has this little paw pad design on the bottom with some non-slip rubbery bits. And you can unscrew the top and remove the silicon inside, which for some reason is really, really grubby. It looks like it's a little bit mouldy, but we will ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> Even the English instructions which are on the app are not very good English so it's still a bit difficult to understand what they're trying to talk about. But I think you fill it up two thirds full with water and they said shower gel but obviously I would use a dog safe shampoo. So I don't know how I feel about putting shampoo in this, swishing it round and then drying their feet off because I feel like there'd still be a lot of shampoo left in their hair. So I'd be a bit reluctant to use shampoo in this, but we'll see how it goes. So the idea is, swoosh around their leg, pull it out, dry it off, and it should be clean. So that's the idea. So I don't know if Benji will be the best dog to test this on, because obviously he's got very long, very thick, very crazy hair. So whether this will be the right sort of product for him, I don't know, but we'll give it a go. Put it in, good boy. seriously annoyed little dog now just with soggier paws. Oh no! <laughs> so this product, I think it's one of those sort of gimmicky things in all honesty. I don't know if it's just because my dog is particularly uncooperative, especially when it comes to nail clipping. Um, we actually had to take him to the vets the other day to get his nails clipped because he is so pathetic. <laughs> He will throw his weight around and scream and we've never cut the quick or anything on him so he's never had a bad experience with nail cutting. He's just, he just hates it. He's a total wuss. When he has his vaccinations he doesn't even flinch but for some reason nail cutting is one of those things. So I don't know if that's why it made this really difficult to do. I just used it with plain water and when I tipped it out in the sink it obviously had got some mud off his feet. So maybe it's just one of those things I need to persevere with. Is it quicker than just rinsing off their feet? Probably not. Would it be useful if you went for a walk in muddy woods and you didn't want them to get in the car with disgusting feet? That's the sort of thing that it might be really useful for. So I'm going to withhold judgment on this one. So the next product I bought is this one here and I actually bought it for Benji's birthday which is on the 10th of March. So this is the Pet Cat Dog Happy Birthday Hat with Cake Amp Candles Design Party Teddy Poodle. <laughs> and this one is available again in pink and blue, and I got it in the blue. Hi 
how cute is that? So it's a little cake hat and it just says happy birthday which is embroidered across the front. It has this little chin strap here with a little toggle so you can adjust it and I thought this would be really cute for taking a photo of Benj in for his birthday. Are you going to wake up Poppet so I can put it on your head? Good boy. There we go, look at that. <laughs> How cute is this? <laughs> The chin strap isn't actually very big at all. That's how much I had to adjust it for his head. So it would fit dogs smaller than him, but probably not dogs a bit bigger than him. I don't think you would get this over the head of a Labrador. <laughs> I do like that. <laughs> Benji does not. No, there's nothing in there. No, you cannot eat it. Still nothing in there. <laughs> Is it a bit extra for a dog's birthday? Possibly. <laughs> but we're all extra pet owners here, aren't we? It's quite well made as well for the price. Winning. Then she's gonna hate me so much. <laughs> so the next thing I bought are these little tiny dog socks. I'm not really generally the sort of person that dresses up their dog. So these were available in several different designs and they are the four pieces, cute, Puppy, dog, shoes, anti-slip, knit socks for small dogs, cat shoes, chihuahua boots for winter indoor slipwear on paw protector. So I guess the anti-slip, so maybe if you had a dog and laminate floors and your dog couldn't walk on the laminate floor. I'm trying to find excuses for where you would realistically use dog socks. <laughs> they are available in some really, really cute designs. And I bought these in a medium and they are tiny and these ones were free obviously you have to pay for postage so nothing's completely free but oh it's worth it just for the little design <laughs> so i got them in this really cute little teddy bear design you are gonna hate me you are gonna seriously hate me are these gonna fit over your feet they are not gonna fit even slightly i would assume benji is a small dog obviously i got the medium to be sure but they're still too small so maybe only suitable for really small dogs then you got off lightly my precious <laughs> okay so i can't try them on the dog so i'll have to demonstrate with my hand so imagine this is a dog but yeah there is no way they're actually quite tight on my fingers there is no way I can fit that on his feet. How cute is that? And on the back, they have this anti-slip sort of paw design. They are super cute. And I'm sad they don't fit, but realistically, not the sort of thing that's practical for Benji to wear. So the next thing I bought is this pet toy training called dinner, small bell, footprint, rings, dogs, toys, for puppy, teddy. And this again was free and I just paid shipping. So it is in lots of different colours. I don't think you can choose the colour. I think it's sent at random. This is it. It is a bell. Your dog can ring. And it arrived in this blue and yellow design. It's quite sturdily made, especially for something that's really cheap. So the idea with this is that I can train Benji to ring my bell, ring my bell. So I do do a lot of training with Benji. I have taught him quite a lot of tricks. If you haven't seen already, I have got a training video for Benji with all of his current, well actually there's a couple I've taught him since, but with most of his repertoire of tricks. So I'll put a couple of clips up there, but it is something I really enjoy doing with him and he loves doing it and it's sort of a bonding thing for us and for his obedience, I feel like it's really good. So I thought that would be a fun thing that I can teach him to do.
dog is a genius. <laughs> So we've pretty much got that, and that's like a really fun thing that you can do with your dog. So I have already taught him to target things with his feet a little bit, um, which is why he's sort of starting to pick it up already. Um, I wouldn't say he's completely got it yet, obviously it takes repetition for them to properly get things, um, but I think he's roughly getting what I'm asking him to do. So that is really fun. Yay! Good boy! You clever! So the next thing I bought is a one piece cute small animal pet rabbit hamster mouse mini hamburg shaped rat squirrel guinea pig winter warm hanging bed. Yep. <laughs> so apparently this is for a yeah rabbit squirrel guinea pig mouse hamster whatever animal you want to fit in this will fit in this. Um, so I did know it was going to be small because it is pictured with a dwarf hamster. So this, in theory, is a hanging, <laughs> hanging bed. How? What? <laughs> so, yes, it is in the shape of a hamburger. But the opening is up here. The hanging thing is up there. So... If your hamster wants to hang vertically, face down, <laughs> how on earth is that meant to work? The design is cute, I will give it that. How is that meant to work? How is your hamster going to go in the bottom and sit in there quite happily? Or your rabbit, sorry, or your guinea pig, if you want your guinea pig to have one of these. That is ridiculous. What? Later I will hang this in Cream Puff's cage when she is awake and we'll see if she climbs in it. My guess is no. It's also a really long chain so unless you've got a really tall cage it's probably going to be on the floor. So I suppose you could have it on the floor but I don't know why you would hang it vertically. Anyway, it's probably not something I'd recommend leaving in a hamster cage anyway. I wouldn't leave this in a hamster cage unsupervised because a hamster, you know, hamsters are chewers. They've got open rooted teeth, so their teeth are constantly growing. So they need to chew and bite and chew to keep their teeth down. So they are tempted to chew everything. And the danger with this is they could pull it apart, put it in their cheek pouches to make a bed out of, and then it could become wrapped around their teeth. They could ingest some, it could, be, it could cause a blockage. It's just not a good idea. Unless you know your hamster's not going to chew it, then I wouldn't personally risk leaving it unsupervised in a hamster cage for any extended period of time. I think it's more for a sort of in a playpen while you're watching them or, or for a photo shoot or that sort of thing. It's not something I would use in their cage and leave alone. But it's not something you could really leave alone in their cage anyway because... What? <laughs> And so the last product I have for you today is actually really confusing. So in my last wish haul, I actually said, I showed this product and said something along the lines of, there's some things I definitely wouldn't recommend buying. Things like leads for your tortoises. And here I am. <laughs> so it's not something I would recommend obviously using. I thought it'd be a fun, weird product to test out, but it's definitely not something that I would encourage you to go out and get and then try and lead your tortoise around the garden. But this is a new tortoise lizard leash reptile pet training harness soft leather plus metal ring. For training your pet tortoise, really really a weird idea for a product. They do show a photo and it looks like these sort of both somehow how go around the shell. Obviously for a small tortoise you wouldn't fit this on a sulcata for example. The clasp here, this chain and then this sort of velvety lead with just this ring on the end. So I guess you would hold it like that while your tortoise walks along. So for those of you who haven't met her, this is Sheldon. She is a Herman's tortoise and she was hatched in 2010. 
Herman's tortoises are one of the smaller species. So let's see if we can work this out. I'm gonna undo this here and try and make it as least stressful for her as possible because this cannot be a very fun experience. by the situation. No, it's not quite going to do up, is it? So that is the idea, and I don't think this was available in different sizes, I think it was just this is the size of every reptile and tortoise. No, not going to fit. What a shame, I can't take you out for a walk. But you get the general aesthetic here. <laughs> so what you're meant to do now, I don't know whether you're meant to take them to the park for a walk or take them down to the shops. <laughs> I have no idea and she does not look particularly thrilled about the situation. On the advert it actually said something along the lines of don't be afraid to hurt your pet's outer shell which is just ridiculous. Um, tortoises do have feeling in their shell. There are nerve endings. It's made of keratin which is the same thing as fingernails and like I say, they do have nerve endings underneath their shell, so they do have some feeling. So to say, don't worry about hurting them at all is absolute rubbish. And also on the picture, the tortoise was on its side and it really did not look happy at all. And you don't want tortoises to be sitting on their side because of the way their lungs are situated and the way that they breathe, they can't breathe properly if they're upside down or on their side. The whole listing for that annoyed me a little bit. Shall I release you? Yeah, it's one of those gimmicky things and I just don't think it's really just not a particularly good idea to put your tortoise on a lead. So I think overall that one gets a thumbs down from me. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and seeing some of these strange pet products. I do have a lot more coming in the post. So if you would like to see that then don't forget to leave a like so I know that you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more. You can also ring the bell for notifications when I upload. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!